Hi everybody, welcome to Troy Future Expat. I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers. First thing here. So, my old pressure washer, the carburetor's all gummed up and it costs more to get it fixed than the pressure washer costs because of the labor charges and stuff. So, I just bought this new pressure washer, a Husqvarna. I got all the parts laid out and getting ready to build assemble the uh, frame I love Husqvarna I got a chainsaw also it works great I got all the pieces laid out got to put oil in it before you start it fuel of course so once I get it set up I'll come back and show you okay Okay, I got the plastic off of it. She's a beauty. The best thing about it, they make it so easy, you don't need any tools. It goes just thread on the handles, little tiny handles. There's the holes that's too short. I got my other one from my old washer that's longer. I'll use that. All right, I'll be back. Well, it doesn't get much easier than this. Just put the four bolts in. Four little knobs. Now they're mounted to the side. Okay, so the handles are on. Two hundred PSI power washer thirty two hundred. I just have to assemble the handle and we're ready to go. Well, and put the oil in. Okay, so I got the handle and nozzle all hooked up. This is called the 7-in-1 nozzle. It's got different spray ratios, like zero degrees, which is like peeling paint off of stuff. This is good for getting mold and moss off of cement. This is for, like, I'm not sure. And I use this on my house because it's not quite as powerful, but it gets the moss off. That's the problem with this place here in Washington. There's lots of moss because it, in the winter time it's raining all the time and it never dries out so everybody gets moss stuff growing on their decks and their porches and walls of their house okay so basically all I got left is to put the oil in and fuel and I can start working all right thanks for watching everybody talk to you later Just a couple of other quick features I wanted to show you there's a thing you can put detergent or moss killer or whatever you want in there and it goes through this hose on the bottom and into the pump right here and then when you hook your sprayer up to it it comes out of the nozzle that's where the sprayer hooks up to and that's where your garden hose hooks up to to put the water in you always have to have water on to keep the engine cold because this will burn the motor up if you don't